and I don't have anything in my journal about any more side missions. At least I don't think. Wait, besiege bait. Welcome back to Mass Effect, and we're gonna destroy Terran! We have points. You are a sad, strange little man. Yeah. Thanks, Buzz Lightyear. <laughs> Tech explosion damage. There you go. Man, that's nice. Get some tech explosion damage. Alright, here we go. Yeah, we are. We know about the critical failures. I never. Ra I rarely talk to Avina at this point. But if you talk to Avina, it's interesting. I don't know how many people actually really talk to Avina at this point. But, yeah. If you talk to Avina, you know, I've only talked to her, I think, once or twice. But, yeah. I'm pretty sure it was only once, but, you know, it could have been twice. I don't remember. But I never really talked to her at this point. I just went with it and went to the thing, but I uh, went to stop Saren, but... Obviously, you just figured this out. Give me a rundown of the damage. We have lost all primary power to the level. Environmental controls are not responding. Class 3 fires are burning in sectors 2, 3, 6, and 7. Civilian casualties are high. And yet, if power has been lost, then life support's been lost. This is a station after all, so if life support's been lost, guess what? You're suffocating and dying. I should not be living without a helmet. There is plot holes in this game. Quite a bit. And I'm noticing them more when I'm doing this video, because I'm realizing what's going on. I'm like, oh, wait a minute, blah, blah, blah. It's something I want to talk about and complain about, because, you know, uh, that's to the video. And, you know... A lot of this stuff I didn't really think of until like now, <laughs> until I've done these videos, you know? But there is a lot that I know about, like, you know, I've talked about the end of Mass Effect 2 and everything like that, and it's, oh, it is what it is. But it's still, like, the best game regardless, okay? It's not perfect, far from it, but, oh my god. Uh, the Council. What happened to the Council? In accordance with standard emergency procedures, the Council has been evacuated to the Destiny Ascension. Mm-hmm. Other survivors? What about Captain Anderson and Ambassador Udina? What happened to them? I have no information on the status of specific individuals. Once the current crisis has been resolved, a complete accounting of casualties and survivors will begin. Where's Saren? Former Spectre agent Saren Arturius is nearing the vicinity of the Council Chamber. A warrant has been issued for his arrest, though Citadel Security is unable to respond at this time. Obviously. Come on, we need to stop Saren before it's too late. Please begin Please begin not listening to you. We're gonna be putting our helmet on soon anyway, so it's gonna be realistic, okay? Not realistic in this sense now, but it will be right here. Okay, get ready. We're gonna blast. We're gonna go outside, as he says. Here we go. Only five minutes in. This should be the end. This should definitely be the end. Let's definitely get to the end here. Before the hour is even up, so... This should only take about 30, 40 seconds. I'm guessing. Could be wrong. Don't let the enemy ships inside the arms! 
Yeah, it's gonna get through anyways. You guys are retarded. Try telling you, but you know. Well, the, the, these guys don't know because they were never told. It's only the council. What am I doing? What the fuck are you doing? Exactly. here out of, out of me speculating and not speculating but you know thinking about it and you know knowing about it and everything uh, look we're finally here and we're finally gonna get through this and it's finally all gonna be over then we're gonna be on two then we're gonna be on three then it's all gonna be over and life will continue oh they're not sighted anymore they're on the ground Oh, that? There was no shotgun right there. That was a silent. Done. Uh, I need my barrier, man. Okay, he didn't do anything. Okay, that happened. He's got to suck compared to my power. I'm level 52? 53? 52? 54! Oh, 54. Interesting. It's only the last few level ups that are really interesting. That Krogan is the problem. Or maybe not. His health is pretty low. I was going to stasis him, but apparently I can't shoot him. And apparently he floats away. Hi, buddy. Bye, buddy. God, is he gonna? Oh yes, he is. Yes, he is. Yeah. No, I got damage protection. I don't need the stasis in. But he died anyways that quickly, so you know I didn't have to worry about it. It was a bit worrying there for a second, but you know I got it done. Took away most of the shields. That's what I was trying to do. I always try to do shoot down all the shields here, even though I don't need to. I should just forget about it. Forget about it. It's gonna take up time. It's pretty pointless to take up. Why am I shooting an ally, you know? The tally hacked one of the Geth. They're gonna fight on our side, and yet I'm shooting them. Oh, what's over here? Nothing. Okay. Ooh, I was shot. And it didn't really do much to me. It took down a bar with my shield, because my barrier and everything. Bag them. Why do we need to bag them and attack them? We don't. They're dead. Some of them even, like, faded off into mist. Bypass, beep, 
beep, beep, beep, a beep, a beep, a beep. And then now go get that one. You go away. And it just kills you like almost instantly. It doesn't matter what level you are. It's so much damage because of the whatever's coming off the uh, ship. And yeah, it's no. You'll just die. Oh, hey, we don't have to watch out, man. You're gonna be frozen. And then you are gonna take a dampening while I stop your weapons. You are gonna blast you and kill you. Oh, no you're not, no you're not. Throw you away. Alright, there you go. You're dead, Krogan. Epic music for me just, you know, blasting through these, right? You, you, stasis. And then take this. I've noticed that these guys will keep coming if you don't uh, push through. If you don't push through, for the most part, uh, they won't indefinitely, indefinitely keep coming, as far as I know. But yeah, they keep coming quite a lot unless you get through to the end first. Once you get through to the end, only if only one of them showed up, then only one of them showed up because they don't show up after you get far enough through that hallway section. Logic of rest tool. All this stuff, all this powerful, powerful stuff. Uh, we're gonna take organic damage. Uh, why not? I'll put some infernal rounds on, change it up a bit, especially with what I'm gonna be having to deal with. Uh, okay, Solaris X, no. Logic Arrest Tool. No, definitely not. I don't know why I even sat there debating it possibly these turrets. I'm not a sniper. I usually sit here with a sniper trying to take them out. Uh, and I didn't get the pistol from Caden, so I kind of screwed myself there. I only have my shitty ass pistol. Uh, well, I can get a slightly better pistol here and put something on it uh, like this with a frictionless materials so that I can at least do that and hopefully take this out decently quickly. Hide. Barrier, barrier, barrier. Damn it. Oh, oh no, definitely not. You have Tally to hold. Oh, look. Bye. She floats down to the ground. There we go. Done. You are dead. This thing is gonna die. Oh no, no you don't, no you don't. My head itches. Oh man. So No, I'm not gonna revive her. She's only really useful in shotguns. I've upgraded her shotguns. Like I've done for a few times, okay. Oh, I didn't see that coming after me. Should be right. There we go. All done with that one. I just try to take these all out so I can just go through the place without having to worry about rockets. I'm not gonna just go, oh yeah, I'm almost done and die and have to go all the way back here. No, that's not going to happen. That will not happen. So, you know, we're gonna fire that at it. Hopefully, it'll hit it. No, it won't. But you can see it floating there. Like right there. I don't know if you can see that. I'll zoom in on it. But I gotta wait for 
that to recharge. There we go. There's only one more left. I guess we can start pushing up slowly. Oh! Oh, I was so lucky. I have this armor. It really is. Do I have the armor that I would like to have at the end end? You know, I've never done it. Maybe I can do it now. Uh, no, I can't. Because I don't have it. Because I didn't keep it. I got a push up, so. We're going to revive Tally. And then we're going to heal Tally. And then we're going to go around here. I've never went this way. I've usually gone gone down the middle. And now I've got to keep moving as I'm shooting them because if I don't, the rockets are going to hit me and I'm going to, you know, die. It's going to be amazing. Yeah, my death is going to be amazing. No, it's going to be amazing in the sense of uh, I'll lose it. All right. Got to keep going forward. Uh, I could take the bottom road down. guys out. Is she using a shotgun? I'm going to use my shotgun now. Uh, we're almost there. Two of that gets has been taken out. Did we take out the... Okay, it was taken out. The rocket thing. Surprisingly. quicker than expected. We're only 18 minutes in. I might add this with the other video depending on how long this is. Well, it's about 20 minutes over. If it goes to 30 minutes, which I expect it to, uh, I'm going to leave it as its own separate video. So. Here we are. Remember the beginning of this? Remember when we first came up here and Garrus was right there and we did all that? Good times. Good times. Oh, I, that did nothing. I wasn't close enough and I didn't aim particularly the correct way. Alright, got you all. Um, no you don't. Come on. Alright. Done. Um, I do remember there being a Rachni side mission that I didn't do, but I never came across it, and I don't have anything in my journal about any more side missions. At least I don't think. Wait, Besiege Bait? Oh well, I'm sorry Admiral Hackett, and I'm sorry to those medical people. Uh, I can't save you now, and it's not like it'll matter too much, but we're going to continue on to the second. We're going to have to, because this is the ending. I totally forgot about this uh, medical base. I remember he wanted me to save these scientists from the biotics, using them as human shields. Put a little snippet of that here. Nice job, man. Nice job. <laughs> nice job. Of course, I forget about something. I thought I did everything. I'm so stupid. I'm so focused on, like, I want to go to the other games that I totally forgot about it. Now I feel fucking... God damn it. <sighs> oh, well. Oh, well. Things happen. Do make mistakes. Life happens, you know. So, you know. Here we go. Things happen. Nothing you can do now, so... And I have to do what we can. Look at what the fuck did he fuck up his hair? I woke up, my hair was messed up, but I didn't have time to fix it. 
I mean, nice textures. I was afraid you wouldn't make it in time, Shepard. Yeah. In time? In time for what? The final confrontation. I think we both expected it would end like this. You've lost. You know that, don't you? In a few minutes, Sovereign will have full control. Now, I did say I felt sorry for him. I just wanted to reiterate that for a specific open. reason. The Reapers will return. I've still got a few tricks up my sleeve. You survived our encounter on Vermeer, but I've changed since then. Improved. Sovereign has upgraded me. <sighs> you let Sovereign implant you? Are you insane? You don't understand. You let Sovereign there implant you and go through your armor? The Reapers Look at my chin. I'm Thanos. Action. People Except like I'm us. red. Sovereign recognizes your value. You've impressed it. Surrender to the Reapers, and you will be spared. Join us, and we can find a place for you. Sovereign's controlling you through your implants. Don't you see that? The relationship is symbiotic. Organic and machine intertwined. A union of flesh and steel. The strengths of both, the weaknesses of neither. I am a vision of the future, Shepard. The evolution of all organic life. This is our destiny. Join Sovereign and experience a true rebirth. Sovereign hasn't won yet. I can stop it from taking control of the station. Step aside and the invasion will never happen. We can't stop it. Not forever. You saw the visions. You saw what happened to the Protheans. The Reapers are too powerful. You know, I have said it before and I do want to say it, but... No. Some part of you must still realize this is wrong. You can fight this. Maybe you're right. Maybe there is still a chance for... for... <laughs> the implants. Sovereign is too strong. I'm sorry. It is too late for me. It's never too late. If you've got the guts. It is too late for him, especially with the implants. That's a bit renegade, though. If you've got the guts. Yet, you can still redeem yourself. And now he is truly dead. Saren himself is dead, but he's not dead in the sense because of the implants. What happens to him? It's not Saren anymore. Saren is gone. He is done. No more does not exist. That was the last words he ever said. This is not Saren. It is Sovereign, as he says. Once we get to that part. But not right now. We're gonna do this. This. Vigil's data file worked. I've and I never gave any systems. thought of what I'm gonna do Quick, here open the either. station's arms. Maybe the fleet can take Sovereign down. Maybe See if you can, can open a communications channel. They can. Obviously, they can. The Destiny Ascension. Main drives offline. Kinetic barriers down 40%. The Council is on board. I repeat, the Council is on board. Normandy to the Citadel. Normandy to the Citadel. Please tell me that's you, Commander. Were you expecting someone else? You were expecting someone else? We caught that distress call, Commander. I'm sitting here in the Andura sector with the entire Arcturus fleet. We can save the Ascension. Just unlock the relays around the Citadel and we'll send the cavalry in. Are you sure about this, Shepard? 
Human casualties will be very high if you send your fleet in now. This is bigger than humanity. Sovereign's a threat to every organic species in the galaxy. True. That's why you can't waste reinforcements trying to save the Council. You must hold them back until the Citadel arms open up and the human fleet can go after Sovereign. What's the order, Commander? Come in now to save the Ascension, or hold back? I got upset at someone not saving them. But that was just me being kind of dumb, because I always thought that it was more logical to concentrate on Sovereign. And whether you concentrate on Sovereign and let the Council die, it's the same damn thing. There's no choice here. It's all retarded. Ridiculously retarded. There's a lot of choices in this game that are either the same dialogue or just don't mean crap. And uh, this choice, this MAJOR choice, does not mean anything. It still plays out the same exact way. All of it is pretty much, this whole game is pretty much the illusion of choice. There's only slight differences, subtle differences, and yet no one complains about it. They only complain about not different endings. You don't get any different endings anyway here, no matter what you choose. In any game, in any one of these games, and no one complains about that, and no one says anything about that. Uh, but, you know, people want to be dumb. <sighs> anyway. It, it, it's better to do that. It's better to be smart about things and hold back and focus on Sovereign because that's the important threat. The massive threat. What am I gonna do, huh? What am I gonna do? What am I going to do? I really don't know. I really don't know. There's lo logic. Well, not necessarily logic. There's being. There's evil logic. There's logic, and then there's you know uh, trying to do the good thing, uh, but uh, you know failing because you know you try to do a good thing and you didn't do it the right way. I mean. And you just tried to say, oh, I need to save some people. Then you send those people in, they all, and everyone dies anyways. I mean, sometimes you can't... It's not possible to do the right thing because of the circumstance. And that's just reality. So... Opening the relays now, Joker. We need to save the Ascension, no matter what the cost. I hope the Council appreciates this. Alliance ships, move in. Save the Destiny Ascension. There are 10,000 people aboard that ship. I mean, most ships don't even have 10,000. There might be 1,000 or 500 people, or, you know, because they're smaller ships or they're different ships, but that Destiny Ascension is like the massive, most massive ship in the galaxy as far as, you know, the races we have existed now in this universe. And um, there's 10,000 more than uh, most ships. Most ships don't even have half that amount, I'm pretty sure. But I don't know. I have. I don't know the, if I'm speaking truth or not because I never looked that up. I never made sure about that. So don't take that as fact. This is just what I think. Yeah. Concentrate on sovereign. So yeah, this video took about 30 minutes. 30, 40 minutes. This is probably going to take another 10 minutes, so probably like 40-something minutes, like I said. But it is over. For the most part. He is dead. I mean, he shot himself. He's dead.
are. I am sovereign, and this station is mine. You are gonna be tasteless. Oh no, apparently you can't be stasis, completely immune. Alright, can you please give me my power? Uh, apparently not. Apparently I have no powers anymore. He's just gonna blast me, and I'm not gonna be able to shoot anything, and I'm not gonna be able to do anything, and I'm gonna have to run away. He's gonna crawl at me like a spider freak. Uh, okay, thank you. Can I use my damn power? Seriously, it's not even letting me use it. I can't even shoot my weapon. I can't do anything. Oh, this is going to be amazing. It's going to be really fun. I keep clicking it, as you saw, but no, nothing. I don't get to use anything. And I'm not surprised. Of course, he moves out of the way. I guess we're going to have to feed him by just shooting him multiple times. I need barrier. Alright, here we go. Uh, I noticed, I don't know if it does the, on the 360, but I've noticed even on the PC that it, could, it should still possibly be on the if you're firing an assault weapon, or if you're firing a weapon and you keep holding down the trigger and see the triggers, the, the noise of the firing weapon will still keep going. Bam, 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 bam. It'll still keep going as this scene is going. And if you let go, it'll end it, and it won't go again. But if you hold it down throughout the whole scene, it'll keep going. Just a little side note. Hi, little spider dude. Da -na 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 -na. Oh no. I need my barrier. Um. Oh yes, I hit him. I got him. I got a shot on him. Um, hit him? I'm not gonna die here. I guarantee that. This is there you go, Tally. I healed you. And yeah, just fall. Oh, oh no, he's gonna get me. I should be paying attention. Where are you? Where are you? Got him. Come on, he's almost dead. We have him. And... Right here, right here, right here. We, he's got nothing left. A few more shots. Come on. Oh! So annoying. There we go. Finally. Finally. Man, Jesus. And all that's left is some scenes and choices.
There's no second game. Never mind, uh, I won't be doing two or three. I'm sorry. This was it. It was fun. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's pointless. You're not gonna take my any of my jokes to heart because, you know... Well, there are jo they are jokes, so... Why would you? What the fuck? What am I talking about? I'm confusing. I don't even know what I'm thinking. <laughs> It's over. You're safe now. Where's the commander? See what I tell you? 40. Or it's close to 40 for you. Very close. Ambassador, Captain, Commander Shepard. We have gathered here to recognize the enormous contributions of the Alliance forces in the war against Sovereign and the Geth. Many humans lost their lives in the battle to save the Citadel. Brave and courageous soldiers who willingly the gave their lives thing. so that we, Playing the Council, this. You're live. probably hearing stuff. There is no greater sacrifice, you know, and we you share your grief over the tragic or loss or of so many do. noble men and women. The but I've broken it many times. A great personal but let's listen. One we can never repay. You saved not just our lives, but the lives of billions from Sovereign and the Reapers. Commander Shepard, your heroic and selfless actions serve as a symbol of everything humanity and the Alliance stand for. And though we cannot bring back those valiant soldiers who gave their lives to save ours, we can honor their memories through our actions. Humanity has shown it is ready to stand Bruh. as a defender and protector of the galaxy. You have proved you are worthy to join our ranks and serve beside us on the Citadel Council. Counselor, on behalf of Humanity and the Alliance, we thank you for this prestigious I don't honor know this will go up, and humbly accept it's we the will 19th. need a list of potential candidates to fill humanity's seat on the I'm council. Sorry. Given all that has happened, I am sure your recommendation will carry a great deal of weight, Commander. Do you support any particular candidate? We need someone with the courage to stand up for what he believes in. Someone like Captain Anderson. Him? You must be joking. Anderson prefers to let his fists do the talking. Only with you, Ambassador. Only with you. Are you sure about this, Commander? The Captain's a soldier, not a politician. We've already got too many politicians on the Citadel. The Captain would be perfect for this job. I think it's an inspired choice. The Council would welcome him with open arms, should he accept. I'm honored, Counselor. As Humanity's representative, I'll do everything in my power to help the Council rebuild. Sovereign's defeat marks the beginning of a new era for both humanity and the council. Sovereign was only a vanguard. The Reaper fleet is still coming. Hundreds of ships, maybe thousands. And I'm gonna find some way to stop them. Mm-hmm. Shepard's right. I wonder what was humanity going through their heads in the second game. Part. That they made it United so illogical and council. stupid. We have the strength to overcome any challenge. When the Reapers come, 
We must stand I'm not side saying by it's side. not possible, but I'm on the side that and it's not possible. We will drive them back to the uh, bring back somebody from the dead. I mean, I'm not saying it's not possible if you have extremely advanced technology, but I'm firmly on the side, at least 95 to 99% of the way, that it's not possible and it's a lie. I still, you know, I leave my mind open to, you know, I don't know what's possible, but I still firmly believe that. I'm gonna keep that stance if it's not possible. I'm gonna let this go. I'll speed through it for you, but there you have it. That's it. The ending. It's speeding through, it's gonna be hilarious. I've never actually sat and watched this whole thing at all. And it's all over. stuff to say. I, I believe. I don't know what I'm going to say, but I believe I'll definitely have stuff to say at the end of 2 when the credits roll on 2. I'm going to be like, wow. I'm going to be just we're here already. These will be up permanently. Enjoy them forever, but... Once you join them once, it won't be the same as uh, watching it a second time. I've got so much editing to do. It's wow. I think I've lost my mind. You know, I can't even hear anything I'm saying. You're hearing what I'm saying right now. I see it coming through there, but I can't even hear anything I'm saying. This music's so loud, it's drowning out the. Um, mic monitoring that I have going on, I can I can now barely hear myself. I, I don't know. I know what I'm saying, but I don't, I can't hear anything I'm saying. I'm gonna snip these up together. And they're not going to be, well, I'm going to 
I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep them in their proper places. I'm just gonna take these snippets and they're gonna be normal speed while the rest is sped up. So. And this is it. Now what I'm glad about is I'm pretty sure, I'm most definitely sure I don't have, now I can definitely hear my voice, uh, I don't have the um, uh, uh, Genesis DLC for Mass Effect 2 or 3, hopefully on the console, because if you do, then it automatically goes that route, and I don't want it to automatically go that route, it should just take my save. The console is very well done, it does just take your save and who you chose and everything just fine. But when you go to the Genesis route, it always, if you've done everything, it'll go through your whole story of everything you've done. It'll take what you've done and place it in the story without you having to choose. But at the very end, it'll still make you choose either Anderson or Udina, if you, even if you already choose one. It's stupid, but hey, whatever. Uh, apparently it's not capturing all the data, but... Hey, that's on the PC version, not the 360 version, but thank you so much for watching, and uh, I will see you and you'll see me in the next video. Most likely Mass Effect 2. Most likely. Not gonna be definite, I could put up something, then I could start posting the Mass Effect 2, because I'll definitely have some of that done. Uh, by the time this comes out, I mean, I'll probably be on three, like I said, by the time this comes out. What, even four, that what this comes out, like, what, quite a bit before, maybe. I don't know. But, uh, yeah. I'll see you, and you'll see me. In the next video. Bye. I wonder what people are gonna say. Many things, I assume. Shit! You got a bad boy, then you got a fuck boy. It's me and <laughs> my motherfucking dead, you fucking my ass. You stuck motherfucking dead, you then boy. Fuck you, you fuck boy.
Hello everybody, I'm Chris Player, and this is... Fuck, I got a knee- Ass. Ready for like- I'm fired! Whoever fucking hired me, fuck this job, okay? You can do your- you can do this fucking job. Ass. And I still got fired. Oh, I'm a boy,